Welcome to Shooting It Straight with Stan. I'm your host, Stan, the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent License in all 50 states. Today's topic is book your flight to annuity safety. I know you're saying that sounds really good, Stan. That sounds like a t-shirt that you would wear. Book your flight to annuity safety. What does that mean? Let me tell you what that means. Annuities are contracts, period. Don't believe me? Buy one of many types. There's not just one annuity. I hate all annuities. There's many types that do many different things, but in essence, they're commodity products. You buy them for the highest contractual guarantee. You shop all carriers for the highest contractual guarantee. There's not one that's better than the other. And you buy the guarantees kind of like you go on the site to buy plane tickets. Now, for all of you people that have Delta or American or United or JetBlue, these uh, Sky Miles, and you go into the uh, the lounges, so you only buy those tickets, or there's something with your company, you know what I'm talking about. When you when you're buying plane tickets, if you go to Orbit, so you go to Priceline or whatever the that site is, Kayak, I guess is one as well, and they're bringing in um, prices from all airline carriers. And you're putting in how you want to go. You want to either, you know, fly coach and just strip it down to the basics and get there as cheap as possible, or you want to fly, fly first class or business class or whatever. What I'm telling you, the vast majority of times, I, I hate to say all, but buying annuities, it's like buying a plane ticket. Buying an immediate annuity or deferred income annuity or qualified longevity annuity contract or an income rider or a multi-year guarantee annuity fixed rate annuity like the annuity industry version of a CD is like buying a plane ticket. And a site like mine, theannuityman.com, represents pretty much every carrier out there that allows you to shop annuities like you'd shop a plane ticket. Now, I know what you're saying out there. Wait, wait a minute, Stan. <laughs> what about the claim spanability, Stan? What about the uh, carrier strength, Stan? Exactly. I mean, that's we show all carriers. There could be highly rated carriers, low rated carriers, just like with planes. So there's some, if you punch in where to go, if you're flying from X to Y, there might be a carrier on that that, that goes to the top that you would never get on that plane, okay? Now, part of my job as Stan, the annuity man, America's annuity agent, is to make sure that, we put you with a carrier that I feel can back up the claims that we have done our homework and due diligence and, and analysis that they can back up the claim. Now, you probably heard me say that it depends on the type of annuity um, and then carrier strength and, and ratings, et cetera. But I'm not going to put anything in front of you that can't back up the claim for the specific goal that you have in mind. Give you an example. If you're buying lifetime income, and that really comes down to immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, income riders. You're buying lifetime income. You're ripping off the knob. And as long as you're breathing, even if you're on a ventilator, you're going to get paid by the annuity company. You're transferring the risk for that annuity company to pay you. Okay? When you make that decision, most of the time, majority of the time, that's an A plus or, or a better rated carrier because we're marrying that carrier. M-A-R-R-Y-I-N-G. It's hard for Southerners to say that. I don't know why. There might be something behind that. Marrying the carrier. We're going to be there forever as long as you're breathing. If it's joint life, as long as one of you is breathing. Okay? And remember, we can, we can build into the contract. So if something happens to you early in the contract, 100% of the money goes to the beneficiaries and not the evil annuity company. So don't say, I never bought an annuity for life because if I die, money goes poof. You're uninformed. I'm going to get you informed. Okay. that's You can do that. That's one of 40 ways to structure it. But with lifetime income and you're buying the plane ticket, you're buying the annuities, you know, you're going to see us quote all carriers. But most of the time, we are going to point you to A plus or better. Now, there's four ratings agencies, Moody's, Standard & Poor's, Fitch, and AM Best. The majority of the time we're showing AM Best, not because we like them or that we think they're better. This just, I think it's easier to understand in most cases. But if I feel that the carrier shouldn't be something you own, I will tell you. Similar to you pull up the, you know, orbits and punch in the plane. And I'm not, I'm not going to mention airlines that I wouldn't fly on. But there's some airlines I wouldn't fly on. There's some annuities I wouldn't allow you to own. There's some annuities I would not own. And I'm going to tell you that. I love it when people say, well, um, 
you know, what's the claim sustainability? Do you think they're going to back it up? Let me be very clear to you, okay? I'm not putting my license on the line with my recommendation to you. If I'm recommending it to you or we are recommending it to you, we have done our due diligence, which leads us to the next crazy, I was going to say stupid, but I'm trying to I'm trying to mellow out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? My wife is a clinical psychologist by trade, so I think I'm a lifelong project to me to her and she's like always working with me to calm down and let life come to me, et cetera. So, I mean, I don't know what I was talking about. Maybe that's part of my problem with the psychology thing. But getting back to the plane tickets, I mean, the point, well, this is what I was going to say. People say, well, what if um, an A double plus company goes out of business? I'm not going to mention any names. I represent pretty much all of them. What if an A plus plus, you know, 100 on the conduct score goes out of business? My answer to you is if that happens, me and you, are in the grocery store fighting for bread. And I'm going to punch you right in the knee or the throat or vice versa. You're going to punch me in the knee or the throat and whoever does that first gets the bread. My point is, if the A++ carries go out of business, and don't come at me and say, well, nothing's too big to fail, Dan. Yes, it is. Okay? Yes, it is. Those big A++, they're, they're too big to fail. Just This isn't Lehman or Bear Stearns. Nothing against them, and I wish I'd have kept some of those t-shirts I saw on eBay when they did go out of business because that would have been cool to like wear a Lehman Brothers shirt around or a Bear Stearns be like, what's up? Um, those companies were the mailroom of some of these A++ rated carriers, which leads us back to the whole thing, which were, you know, book your book your flight to annuity safety. I love that. That's beautiful. Um, I'll, I'll be your captain today. My name is Stan the Annuity Man. I'll be flying the annuity plane. And uh, my stewardesses, that would be called staff, stewardess, stewards and stewardesses, will be taking care of all the applications from start to finish. Concierge service first class, period. But what I want you to take away from this is that if anybody comes to you and says, this is the best annuity, or this is the one you need, or I've looked at all of them and this is the one, that's a tough statement, okay? Um could there be a, an asterisk once in a lifetime, one out of a thousand moments where that might be true? Maybe, but if it's like a, a you know a MIGA or a SPEAR or a D or a QLAC or index annuity or a variable annuity, and someone says, this is the best one. Translation, in most cases, that's the only one they know. Translation, that's the only one they have access to. Translation, if they sell enough of it, they get to go to Bora Bora with their girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever applies. Um, because that, that's the incentive trip attached to it. One size fits all. But so regardless of the annuity types that you're shopping for, it's like shopping for a plane ticket. And remember, I ask two questions every single time, and you should answer two questions every single time to see if you need an annuity. First question, what do you want the money to contractually do? Second question, when do you want those contractual guarantees to start? From those two answers, I can tell you even if, if you need an annuity, and if you do, which type's going to provide the highest contractual guarantee? The other thing you need to remember is my acronym I've come up with in trademark. It's called PIL, P-I-L-L. P stands for principal protection. I stands for income for life. L stands for legacy, leaving money to people when you die. And the other st L stands for long-term care, confinement care, enhanced benefit, that type of thing. P-I-L-L. -L. If you do not need to contractually solve for one or more items in that acronym pill, you do not need an annuity. Period. If you're looking for market growth, don't buy an annuity, please. I know that's what everyone's telling you. Market upside with no downside. Buffer annuity. Bleh. Come on. You know better than that. Don't be the sucker at the table. Don't be the rube at the table. So when you go to buy your next plane ticket and you punch in, you want to go here and here and here, are the times you want to go and here's where you want to sit, et cetera, it's the same exact process when buying the majority of annuities the majority of the time. I wish I could say all. I typically do. But for whatever reason, I feel kind of calm today. And I'm not going to say all and I'm not going to yell and I'm not going to pound the table. But what I want to drive home today is that it's a commodity. Annuities are commodities. All types of annuities are commodities. You, you own them for what they will do, not what they might do. Always make your decision on the contractual guarantee. Never, ever make your decision on the hypothetical, theoretical, back-tested, projected, 
hopeful agent and advisor return scenarios, unicorns chasing the darn butterflies. Never, ever. If someone says, well, if you're under 10 years ago, you got this. Walk out. Hang the phone up. That's garbage. I wish the annuity industry would just get rid of that. That's nonsense. It really is. It's like saying, well, if you'd have bought the plane ticket 10 years ago, it would have cost this. Who cares? Who gives a crap? I want to know the price now. That's a really good correlation, if you think about it. Which is why I'm here, which is why I'm standing new to me, which is why I'm shooting it straight, which is why I'm doing this video, which is why it's pertinent, which is why you can book your flight to annuity safety. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that just came to me and then I just riffed off of it. It's amazing. Say a prayer for my wife because she has to put up with this riffing all the time where I get an idea in my mind. I said, hey, listen to this. And I go, la, 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 la. <laughs> one more thing. We would love to have you as a client. Go to theannuityman.com. Greatest staff on the planet. Great staff. Hopefully you'll get to speak with me. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It depends on where I'm at. And, um, you know, you see the guitars in the background. There's times I pick up the guitar and I just riff out, man. I'm not that good of a guitar player. But I am a heck of annuity specialist. This is all I do. This is my lane. This is my specialty. This is my life. This is my last name. The Annuity Man. Think about that. It's the annuity man. I'll close with this. I did approach my wife recently and I said to her, would you ever consider changing our last name legally to the annuity man? So she would be Christine, the annuity man, and I would be Stan, the annuity man. And my daughters would be, you know, their names, the annuity man. Let's just say I'm one of the best salespeople on the planet, I think, you know, just because I listen and I use my mouth and ears in proportion, but I did not close that sale. My wife was like, let me, let me think about it. No, <laughs> but I'm still trying, you know, think about that. That would be a great PR move. I'm standing in front of the judge and the judge looks at us and goes, are you serious? I know that. Listen, that shooting it was blah, blah. That is shooting it straight with Stan. And never forget, book your flight to annuity safety. See you next time.